Hello to everybody out there. This is the Harbinger. This is Wingspan, the Steam Edition, and this is my opening hand. Well, uh, I just wanted to say that it's been, it's been an update, and they have changed the colors of the icons. I don't really know if I like it or not, but it's a, it's a change. So uh, let's look at the opening hand here. We. <laughs> this is a weird one. Um. I guess Black Vulture can maybe give us some extra food. There's another bonus card here. Uh, play another bird without paying its normal cost. Th these two birds will actually get us into um, into the ability to spend extra cards on getting uh, food while also getting food sometimes off, uh, off turn. It's interesting, but it's not good. It's also two birds for the uh, second round and gold here. Which is uh, somewhat uh, somewhat nice. Mm, Royal Spoonman is our only brown power. We are seconds. So we can't guarantee we get we get our pick of the uh, of the bird tray here. But um, yeah, if it... ideally we'd get the indigo bunting here. It's uh, it's a bird that, let, that, that, that lets us get three food every turn. The cherry ain't that good, but the um, the two vertebrae is uh, a very common food uh, food type. Mm. I don't really know what to think about the spoon build, but it is a it is a card to break us into the second column. I, I, I guess I'll take these. I'm gonna take the food so we can play the uh, indigo bunting if uh, if we get it. And if you don't get it, we can use it to play both the World Spoon Build, Grey Warbler, and the Black Vulture. It's it's not a perfect start, but um, you can't have a perfect start every game. Uh, which one of these is it like? Uh, Nest Box Builder is um, uh, not really something we are going for here. We have we have two birds counting for it, but um, yeah, getting the remaining four birds gives us seven points, while getting us four birds with. Lock abilities also gets us points here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I guess nest box builder doesn't really force us into anything, but bird counter is just easier to get some payout for. So I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go with bird counter here. Uh, yes, okay. We do get access to the bunting. I think that's a easy, easy decision there. Uh, later we can get uh, more birds every turn with uh, with the spoon bill. Puffin is great, house finch is great, but uh, yeah, we need um, we need to get our game going. We can't we can't really afford to just uh, play uh, pick up one bird a turn. So we need to we need to get the food to play the spoon bill. Uh, we could we could have. Uh, could have a play the warbler into the bunting. No, we couldn't pick it. They didn't have, didn't have enough food. Sorry. Um, okay, let's take let's take the fish for the uh, spoon build here. Maybe maybe fish and a rodent, and we can get the reward to for free. So that's why we don't have to. We, we don't need to pay for it. And uh, yeah, let's try to play the spoon build and pick up the house finch. Uh, maybe all of all three of these can be good for us. <laughs> Puffin is just a great card. Uh, House Finch is also a great card. It lets us uh, cycle these two cards. <clears throat> Didn't get the Puffin, but that's fine. Uh, we can pick up this card for free with the Spoon Bill. So uh, let's just take it there. Oh, Wagtail. White Hawk Wagtail can also work here. Draw cards without having to go to the. Uh, go to the. Um, um, of having to go to the wetlands. Now, um, this bird is super awesome for uh, well, when it is so that you don't have to go to um, don't have to go to the grasslands that often. Uh, uh, uh. And yeah, then we just need to see, need to decide where we play the house finch. Um, we have access to drawing cards uh, in uh, outside wetlands with the wagtail. Uh, 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 uh. But yeah, let's take food first. Play the uh, kite, and hopefully, 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 we get to um, we get to get those three extra eggs, which is so crucial for not uh, having to go go to the grasslands that often. Um, 
think. And yeah, this is this is also flocking birds. So since we have the flocking ability, I think it's or, or the flocking uh, bonus card. I think it's more reasonable to try to do a tucking engine. Uh, 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 we do, however, already have tons of cards, so drawing extra cards doesn't really do much good for us. Therefore, we should do it in the forest instead. Hard to hard to decide here. Um, mm -mm -mm. No free uh, eggs. That's too bad. This is how the game goes. Okay. Bunting. Bunting is a nice card for us. Uh, if the opponent uh, attacks, opponent can attack. So, I mean, opponent can attack if they <laughs> toss, a, toss a grain. They shouldn't use that ability, but if we have the uh, bunting, it will um, it will uh, benefit us a lot. Do that. Reset the tray and try to pick up something else there. Yes, the Vareo is a bonus card we can toss into the Grasslands. Yeah, now we need to conserve uh, conserve our action cubes and just go for playing cards there. Uh, one grain, two grains, and a vertebrae. Midventing, midventing into the Grasslands, I think. We are starting to cycle already. Uh, I th think we should take the cold tit here. Uh, it's because then we get up to um, we can play it immediately to get up to better um, better action cubes here. We get uh, additional food which we can use to get out all of these things. I think we are going for uh, going for a forest build here. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's sell the hawk. We don't want that in the actual forest build. Rufus Owl, awesome card for a forest build. Okay, it's coming together. Uh, we need um, mm -mm -mm, we need more eggs. We need uh, food for the house finch, and uh, yeah, let's um, let's spend extra cards here to get additional eggs. Uh, we put eggs on cold. No, let's put eggs on uh, the spoon build first, in case we get. Uh, Three eggs here. That we, that we have to spend them first. Then we will may, maybe have eggs left uh, for the next round of goal. Didn't happen. That's totally fine. Okay, let's take let's take food here. Do we let's let's not discard an extra card to gain extra food. We already get um, we already get four through the turn. We don't need uh, we don't need, need that extra. We do. We do want cherries for the house finch, but we also need to spend our nectar. So let's just take a vertebrae. Uh, let's sell the Keru for random card. Uh, play the house finch. Then we get to. Get to uh, check out our own merit, not just the, not yet when the opponent wants to. Do we do we play the uh, cover crew? Cover crew? I don't think we do. We want uh, activated cards here, which means uh, the Rufus Owl, maybe the Wagtail. Nectars. Do we have enough to play the Rufus Owl next turn? Let's discard that and try to. Martin is a one food, uh, one food uh, four pointer. Hmm. Don't really know. This is a two food eight pointer. That's much much better conversion rate. We we are we are getting tons of food.
Uh, nope, uh, we are playing Rufus Owl. Maybe we should have played something here instead. Uh, so we could get access to this additional card over there. Uh, yeah, we have that sell the Kakapu. Gala! Are you joking? Of course I want to Gala. <laughs> Even get free grains. Oh yeah, this is an awesome card to top off a forest here. <sighs> Only thing is we don't have access to enough eggs to do everything we want to do at all the time. Um, but that's fine. Uh, let's sell some cherries. And really hope that we get those free eggs from the Black Sugar Kite. It's an 80% chance to actually hit it. So uh, that's nice, nice, nice. Give it away. Three more eggs. Now we are... Now we are getting that value we want from it. Okay, that's the gala. Uh, 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 uh. It's worth seven points in itself, and we get two additional points every time we activate it. We lose some points by um, by spending the coated uh, eggs uh, or a uh, coated green, but that's totally fine because uh, we get those two points back uh, when we activate this one the first time. And just getting uh, that additional activation that also gets us an additional food, so it's uh, totally totally fine. That means we aren't playing the Wagtail, mm -mm -mm, which is also totally fine, I think. Uh, maybe we want we want to want to make Pylark to um, to just uh, uh, postpone spending food. So basically. Uh, basically, in this turn, uh, play, playing the Magpie, uh, this this game, playing the Magpie Lock, this game, basically lets us uh, play the Blue Wing Warbler a little bit later, while also uh, spending costing one more food and then being worth 13 points rather than only eight points for two food. So these two guards work really well together here. Uh, 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 uh. We need more cards so we can uh, uh, tuck and stuff. So. I'm looking at the Godwit, which is another bonus card, and uh, we can pick up the Roadrunner on the on the uh, Spoonbill um, Spoonbill feature. And uh, then I think we want food, so we can play these high value birds here. Uh, we need. Uh, sure, we need uh, more work to raid in anything. Uh, don't take nectar this turn. Uh, just take the vertebrae here. We get the last vertebrae from the hunting. Uh, opponent can uh, do that. Didn't even get the free grain. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna tuck one of these, then we're gonna tuck. Well, Welcome to Sparrow ain't bad for us. If you, if you play that as the last bird with Magpie Lark, it's actually uh, it's a six pointer, but for us it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a eight pointer. So maybe we actually pick this up. We're gonna tuck the Nutcracker, uh, tuck the Right Crown Sparrow, and pick up the Welcome as well. It's usually not a good card, but uh, we can make it work. Then take another vertebrae. And if we luck out and get that uh, bonus card, uh, the um, food web expert, we can even get uh, more value out of this boy. Let's see, go to it first, just so we know what kind of bonus card we are looking at. Uh, no, we spend, uh, we spend uh, of course, this egg. Historian, okay. Yeah, Bells Bro. Can make that some somewhat work. Sprogs, also another history and card. Which we got the food for. Yeah, out of these three we keep the Sprog. Don't know if we're gonna play that and bells. Seems unlikely. Uh da -da -da. Let's sell the musk duck. We don't really have that many turns left, so we should be looking at filling up this habitat with stuff we actually want to play. 
Uh, we can afford Magpie Lock and Roadrunner here, right? Yeah. Then we play uh, Welcome Sparrow as the last card here. That's uh, that's uh, eight pointer, right? We just need to remember to have eggs in uh, in the forest to do that. Uh, that means we actually can't play the Blue Winged Boulder. Hmm. What's the benefit of playing the Welcome Sparrow over the Blue Winged Warbler? Actually, nothing. It's another. It's another star nest. Hmm. Yeah, Bell's Rio could be better. It's a six pointer that gets us a little. Uh, gets us uh, the best of two bonus cards. Maybe we do that after uh, Roadrunner, my Palark, instead of the Sparrow. Yeah. Mm. We need to spend two turns to do that, then we need to lay eggs. Then we have one last turn to take food. We don't get, we don't really get that much that much uh, mileage out of the gala, but uh, it's still a really good card. Yeah. Actually, why are we playing the Greater Roadrunner? This is a seven pointer, while this is an eight pointer that costs less. Think a little bit, dude. Yeah. Let's do Bell's Rio into into my Palark into uh, Welcome Sparrow. That makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, bunting eggs gone. Uh, multiple habitat birds. Uh, that even means Welcome Sparrow uh, gets us up to four to seven points. Awesome. Okay. We are uh, we are uh, now locked in on that. Uh, on that ID here. Then we are playing Magpie Lark. We need to lay eggs in the lay eggs in the forest. Remember that. And we can spend extra cards here to get what we want. And uh, ooh, yes, thank you, extra, extra eggs. Giving them one, one food while getting three points yourself is uh, totally, totally worth it. And uh, yeah, uh, we need, uh, we need food for the for the swallow. Let's not take uh, nect. Mm, that's also a thing. We yeah, we can't get nectar into the wetlands. We just have to accept that. We should have worried about that earlier in the game. We didn't. Um, yeah, let's just hey, we need we need, we need one uh, one vertebrae, and uh, hopefully more because then we can don't have to overpay, so we have more food for the tie break. Okay, and then we just get the points out of activating habitats here. Okay. into Welcome Sparrow. Right? Oh wait, Sprog's Pipit. Mm. Welcome Sparrow is, let's double check. Yeah, it gets three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11 points. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Sprog's is five plus with their bonus card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's decided we are playing the uh, Welcome Swallow. Welcome Swallow. This bird's name refers to it heralding spring in southern Australia. <laughs> Is it the first time I've played it? I, ge I, I guess uh, I guess everything really had to align uh, for me to actually play this bird. But yeah, it's uh, it's one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, eleven points this turn. So it's totally fine. But yeah, I, I yeah, I, th I think stars ha has to align for me to prioritize playing that bird over possible uh, other possibilities. 
but when it works, it works. Now, let's, let's see how this game turned out. It looks like we are maybe close to a 115, 120 game. Yeah, that's uh, totally acceptable. Uh, we had um, had a really good run by picking up the bunting first. Getting that extra uh, extra food every activation really helped us uh, to be able to play a lot of high power birds. Rufus Owl, Gala um, gave us 9 points each and they cost a lot of food to play. Uh, we also won 2 Nectars. Uh, we, have, uh, we only had 1 bird, only costing 1 food. Other than that, the average food cost, uh, yeah, the average food cost is is over two. So this food gaining engine here really let us uh, get out a lot of points here. We have, uh, oops, uh, we have uh, fifty points in uh, bird cards, and um, yeah, another thirty five in round and goals and bonus cards. Mm. We didn't really tuck that. We did tuck a lot, but we did, it, it, it's not that much. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think um, I think we just maneuvered this pretty well. Snowbounding pulled a lot of weight, uh, not only getting us twelve points, but it also lets us cycle through cards between our turns. So all of the bad cards we pick up with uh, with the spoon bill. Um, we, 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 we don't care that we don't really want them, we just want them for the additional card so we can have excess cards attached to the bunting and get out with good cards we really want to. And uh, yeah, Sp Spoon Mills and Musk Ducks and the other, other cards that um, uh, forces you to draw specific nest types, they are really good if you can then later uh, tuck draw them to something else like we did to the hostage and just get out good cards in exchange for, uh, for your uh, cards you don't really need or want. Coltit also did a lot of value for us, just getting us extra food every turn. Uh, we spent some of that to play the gala, we spent some of that to play other stuff. And uh, yeah, we uh, all in all I think we just had a really good maneuvered game. If, if I were to do one more turn, I think we might... I think we might have. Uh, yeah, I don't really. Yeah, we, because we, we we filled out our we filled out our grasslands, we filled out our our uh, forest. We don't really have any bird we can play anywhere else. So I, th I think this was just the perfect way to end the game for us, given the cards we had. If there were more turns, I think we would have picked up the, the black crown, the night heron, uh, when we uh, drew with house finch, so we could play that as a as a final as a final turn. Um, and that would have been if we had the Indigo Bunting as a choice on our opening hand, uh, then we would have an extra turn, and then we can play this guy at the end, which would have, would have been, uh, would have been, uh, yeah, just a flat out eight point extra. But um, yeah, so th that 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 that's what it actually cost us to spend a turn drawing the Indigo Bunting instead of having it in, in our opening hand. It's just that we, you, you lose that action over, over the course of the game, which also actually means that we would have uh, we would have won this round and goal, uh, giving us additional uh, additional two points or three points compared to the opponent. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's just really good starting with with these uh, with these f food birds in uh, your opening hand. I I usually always prioritize them. They are good in uh, they're good in the base game and they're also really good in uh, Oceania. Thank you for watching. It was a little bit uh, more post game analysis than uh, usual, but I hope you do enjoy that. This has been Harminger. Thank you for watching, and I'm signing out.